Hello, Guido here from blockbuilders.net and we want to talk today about Bitpanda and I want to give you my experience with the crypto exchange and I also want to give you a quick tutorial how the platform actually works. So first of all, Bitpanda is a cryptocurrency exchange based in Austria. So you can actually trade cryptocurrencies um, on Bitpanda and they also have some metals like silver and gold that you could also trade on Bitpanda. Um, if you don't have a Bitpanda account yet, you can just use my link down in the description to sign up. And sometimes with that link, you get some extra perks. So on Bitpanda, you can actually trade more than 30 cryptocurrencies. Um, if you click here on wallet, you can see um, they have a huge variety of cryptocurrencies. So you can actually trade Bitcoin, Ethereum, like all the major or all the big cryptocurrencies and also smaller ones like um, Maker, for example, or Zcash and so on. So if you want to trade one of the big cryptocurrencies, you will probably find it on Bitpanda. Um, when it comes to me, I don't really use Bitpanda. The reason for that is that um, the fees are quite expensive. So I do most of my trading on Binance and on Coinbase Pro. And when it comes to Bitpanda, it's really not liquid enough if you trade bigger positions. So more than if you trade higher or bigger positions than a several thousand um, euros or US dollars, um, you will usually not get the best price on Bitpanda. That's why I trade um, on Binance and on Coinbase Pro. However, if you want to use um, Bitpanda, feel free to do that. It's a nice exchange you can trade there. And um, it's very easy if you are new to the space. So you will easily figure out how to buy and sell cryptocurrencies. So once you signed up for the exchange, you need to do a KYC process and know your customer process where you send them um, a picture of your um, ID card or passport so that they can verify your identity. And you need to do that on every exchange where you can trade cryptocurrencies against fiat currencies like euros or US dollars um, because of anti-money laundering le um, legislation. So that's one thing you have to do on every exchange. So once you have done that, you can have access to the dashboard. And as I said, we have the wallets there. And in order to trade something, first you need to deposit some money. And that's quite easy. You just click here on deposit and then you can, for example, choose your wallet. And then you can choose one of the payment methods that they have. So for example, credit card, or you can do a regular wire transfer. However, you have to know that um, it costs 1.5% um, fees if you do a credit card deposit. Um, and it's free if you do just a regular wire transfer. However, um, with a credit card transfer, you will receive the money instantly. So you can start trading immediately. And with the wire transfer, you probably have to wait like one business day until you will have the money into your, in your account. And um, once you have done that, you can actually start trading and trading is quite easy. You can go here and then you can just click on buy and then you can select what you want to buy. So for example, Bitcoin, then you can say, okay, I want to use all my euros to buy Bitcoin. You need to agree to the terms and then you can just buy now and you will have, or you will receive immediately the Bitcoins. So that's basically the easiest way to do something. And to sell something would be um, the same. I don't have any cryptocurrencies here right now, but um, to sell something would be basically um, the same process. You just select what you want to sell and then you click and you sell it. And that's how you buy and sell cryptocurrencies. And now let's look at the fees. So the fees are currently at 1.49%. Oh, it's in German, but here they say it's 1.49%. 
and you can save 20% of that if you are using BEST to pay your trading fees. So BEST is a token that they issued on Bitpanda. You can just buy it there. And if you use it to pay your trading fees, um, you will receive a 20% discount. So you would only pay 1.2% um, on every trade. However, you have to keep in mind if you do a credit card deposit, you would pay 1.5%. And if you buy something with that deposit, then you would pay an additional 1.2%. So that adds up quite quickly and you can reach um, 3% in fees um, quite easily. However, it's a bit cheaper if you trade on Bitpanda Pro. Um, every Bitpanda customer gets also access to Bitpanda Pro. And there you can actually do um, limit market orders. You can see here the chart. It's a bit more complicated than Bitpanda. And you can actually trade there and you would pay 0.15% on fees. So it's cheaper, but however, it's if you are inexperienced, um, it's way more difficult to use it. So if you are new to the space, I can only recommend using Bitpanda. And if you are more experienced, um, you can use Bitpanda Pro. Um, so that's basically it. If you have any questions, please feel free to use the comments down below. If you don't have an account yet, please use my link to sign up. And if you find that video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.